Hi again then guys and welcome to the first instalment yet again of the Forza Horizon franchise to probably the car for me personally which is stranger than all of the others in terms of not being featured anymore because some of them you could kind of understand maybe why they're not around anymore maybe they weren't hugely popular even my personal favorite car in the game the Maserati MC12 Corsa it wasn't a massively popular car. Those of us who like it really do, but most people tend to go for something like the F50 GT or the 599XX instead. Now with this car, that's not really the case, because in a straight line, this was pretty much the best car in the game. In fact, for the highway run race, whatever that was called, I, I don't recall now, this was pretty much an unbeatable car. You could get Hennessy Venoms to come close, you could get Veyron Supersports to keep up in a straight line, but the brilliant thing about this car, the Koenigsegg CCX R edition, is that it has cornering as well. It's a really good handling car, which is kind of ironic, because handling is pretty much the last thing that Koenigseggs are known for, and yet, because of how leery something like a Venom GT can be, or an SSC Ultimate Aero, especially the Ultimate Aero, or a Veyron Supersport even, which goes the opposite end, instead of being slippery, it's very heavy, the Koenigsegg has kind of a good middle ground between the two. Because even when you don't tune this car, it's got over a thousand horsepower, it's got around 800 pound-feet of torque, but it only weighs 1,428 kilos. And although that is a lot more than, for instance, the Hennessy, which weighs 1,200, it's a whole lot less than something like a Veyron. It's about, well, basically 400 kilos less than a Veyron. So, again, it's very well placed. It's not quite the lightest of them all, but it's certainly far from being the heaviest. It's not the most powerful, either. A thousand and eighteen horsepower to begin with, is certainly beatable. The Veyron and the Hennessy in particular have way more than that, but the beauty of this car is how it all comes together. And the really weird thing to me about the fact that it's not featured anymore is that this isn't one of those manufacturers which that's understandable with. This is kind of similar to the Koenigsegg CC GT, which we looked at of course in Forza 4, in as much as it makes sense for a car like this to continue in the franchise, especially given that Koenigsegg has had a presence in literally every Forza game, right from day one. They had the CC8S, then we had the CCX, and the CCGT, and the CCXR edition here, the Ajira, the Rigira, the one to one They've had a very strong presence throughout the franchise, which has been getting better and better up until now on Horizon 3. Doubtless on Horizon 4 we'll have more Koenigseggs as well, maybe even stuff like the Regera as standard instead of DLC or VIP. On Forza 7 as well we have them of course, and they are very, very good performance cars. So it's very strange for them to omit this one. Now, it's a fair point that it's not the pinnacle anymore, whereas at the time it was. This was the ultimate Koenigsegg when it first came out, because of course the Ajira wasn't out yet, the Regera wasn't even a thought at this point, basically, and stuff like the one-to-one -one just hadn't been developed yet. So this was kind of like the precursor, in some ways, to the one-to-one, -one, that ultimate combination of handling, or at least Koenigsegg's version of handling, and straight-line speed put together. Now, as far as bringing it back, I don't think there's a huge chance of them doing that, and to be honest, I think if they did bring it back, it would probably be more likely to come back in a Horizon game than in a motorsport game. And I think the main reason for that, because I don't really believe it's going to come back at all, but if it is going to come back at all, I think the reason why a Horizon game is more likely is because of the fact that it was in the first game. So it would be almost like a nice retro throwback to those of us who played the first game. Because, I tell you what, this is probably the most popular car I've seen in any Forza game that is no longer featured, because usually popular cars are pretty much guaranteed a place in the next game. But this one, it was never featured before or since, and that's very strange, because online it was one of the most popular cars in the entire game. And when it came to, as I said, the motorway drag, also tracks like Goliath even, it was very useful for, people love this car on the Fast Horizon game. And it's a brilliant machine. It only costs a million credits, which is superb value. So it's very, very weird that it hasn't been featured again. I do think that they could bring it back, say, as like a retro DLC, as I mentioned earlier, for, say, Horizon 4, maybe. But apart from that, I don't think there's a huge chance of it coming back now, because we've almost moved past this generation. I think it would be more likely to probably get the standard CCX back at this point, rather than this one. But... 
Either way, this is definitely one of the absolute top tier highlights of the first Horizon game. It's an incredible car. This car alone is kind of like the Maserati MC12 Corsa in as much as it is worth going back and playing the first game even if you just do it to drive this one car. It's that good. Because if you're a Koenigsegg fan, this was the pinnacle of the time. And even now, it's incredibly good in the game. So ultimately, I don't have high hopes for it returning, which is a shame, but at least we can still enjoy it in the first Horizon game. It's incredibly quick, beyond 270 miles per hour, incredible acceleration, handling which is deceptively good. It's a dominating force in the type of races that you use it for. But that's it overall for this particular pick. Definitely one of the top highlights and top unicorns, in fact, not just of the first game, but of the entire franchise. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. But for now, as always, Thanks for watching.